Welcome to Shelburne Falls. In October of 2023, the Bridge of Flowers, located in Shelburne Falls, is closing down for renovation. The bridge, which connects Shelburne Falls and Buckland, has recently been discovered to be in need of many repairs, which includes displacing all of the flora and fauna. The reconstruction will start in spring of 2024 and is hopefully going to be completed in spring of 2025. This week, we talked to Shelburne Falls local businesses and the Bridge of Flowers Committee to see their point of view on this massive project. We have a great relationship with the uh, Bridge of Flowers Committee and the, the community as a whole. Um, obviously, we're right at the end on the Shelburne side, so people coming off the bridge and going out of the bridge are walking right past our space. So it's kind of, uh, it gives something else for people to do um, as they cross the bridge. It also lets people sit and enjoy this, the area longer than it takes just to walk across. Um, it's great for us because there's 60 some thousand people that cross the bridge every year, um, maybe more. And um, it's a great location. It's a great, great relationship. Our committee, we're a committee, um, Bridge of Flowers Committee, and we're volunteers. So we've been working with the businesses so that they can um, hear what we're doing, make suggestions, you know, really t we're trying to team with them. And so we'll probably be offering things. We're gonna have an art show in October, which will be our very first one. And the importance of having an art show is to profile a bridge of flowers and the artists in the local community um, and uh, bring them. And we'll be looking at doing other things throughout the year to help with the economy. I, I think the closing of the Bridge of Flowers next year for repairs is going to have a big impact on the business. Um, it remains to be seen how much, because we, we're, we're still not sure how much the construction is going to affect this end of the bridge. With it being closed, obviously tourists won't be coming and crossing over the bridge. Um, there was some concern early on that this end of the bridge would be all dug up and they would use it as a staging area for all their equipment. It sounds like that might not happen now. So we're going to have to just try to adapt and um, adjust to get people to come here that maybe would only come over here if the bridge is open. So Some of the considerations that were uh, part of our decision to close was uh, based on an engineering study uh, that was done prior to the pandemic, so say 2019, 2018, and they discovered that there was a very large crack on the north side and a bulge of the um, structure on the north side. And uh, they also did some digging to find out that some of the, what are called tie rods that go from one side of the, uh, the bridge to the other, there's multiple ones along the way, were missing. There is a water main that goes from this Shelburne end all the way over to the Buckland end. And that runs right through the bridge and uh, that has to be replaced because if something happens with that, I mean, it's been probably was replaced in the mid eighties. And um, if, that, if, if something goes wrong with that moat, water main, the Buckland side of town doesn't have water. Thanks for watching. The Bridge of Flowers closes in October of 2023. So make sure to stop by before the end of the season. See you next week.